Dr. Ash, you never want to hear about anything that is drug resistant, but uh, you got some new news here about fungal infections, now possibly drug uh, resistant. What are we talking about here? Exactly, TJ. So the CDC putting out an alert now. It's tracking more than 120 cases of a highly resistant fungal infection type of candida first reported in Japan back in 2009. We heard about it in the U.S. a couple of years ago. Now out of Washington, D.C. and Dallas, Texas, they're tracking this person-to-person -person spread of this type of fungus, which is not able to be treated by the conventional antifungal medications. Now, this is in critically ill, immune-compromised patients, um, but all eyes on COVID, coronavirus. It is so important in public health health, clinical medicine to remember there is bacteria, there is fungal infections that we also have to keep an eye on and we can all play a part in reducing the risk of that with not using unnecessary antibiotics, antivirals, antifungal medications and in these hospital settings or nursing home settings they're really buckling down on infection control. So again, something we're keeping our eye on right now the risk is only to patients in these settings um, but it's a reminder to all of us that it's not just about coronavirus. You know what? It's a reminder that you give us often. Uh, really, so much has been on the plate the past year and a half when it comes. We've seen laser focused on COVID, but you have been great about making sure we keep an eye on these other things, Dr. Ashton. Thank you so much. Thank you, there. sir. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.